Hi, I'm Rick Perry. I wanted to extend a warm welcome to all of you gathered for the U.S. Chamber of Commerce's Institute for 21st Century Energy, the 10th Anniversary Energy Forum. As Secretary of Energy, there's never been a more exciting time to work in the field of energy, or for that matter, to work at this agency. We're experiencing an energy renaissance in America today, and we're no longer just talking about American energy independence, we're talking about American energy dominance. A little more than a decade ago, when I was the governor of Texas, we were working to build liquefied natural gas terminals to import gas from Asia. I just returned from Japan and China where I was discussing the exports of American LNG headed their way. And last week we saw the arrival of American LNG in Poland and the Netherlands. This is a major shift in the world's energy equation. It's just one of the examples of American energy leadership being developed at DOE. At the Department of Energy, we're pushing new technologies in nuclear energy including small modular reactors, which will ensure that zero emission nuclear power remains an important part of our power portfolio. We're pursuing new technologies to ensure that cleaner burning coal remains part of our portfolio as well, with carbon capture and the secondary uses of that byproduct. And let me reassure you, this administration is more committed than ever to clean energy. Instead of preaching about clean energy, we're acting on it. Often missing from the news is the fact that the U.S. has made major steps in reducing its carbon footprint. These successes were not because of an international agreement. They were produced by American innovation and technology. All of this illustrates the important work that the DOE and our partners in the private sector are undertaking to transform the energy sector. While DOE has been central to energy innovation for the last 40 years, we've done that in concert with groups like the United States Chamber of Commerce Institute for 21st Century Energy. You've helped keep the energy industry competitive and dynamic. And every business owner and consumer thanks you for that. As President Trump will tell you, our all of the above energy policy is vital to job creation. America will remain on the leading edge of the innovation economy and the byproduct of that effort will be job creation across the energy sector as well as enough American energy to power our economic engine. As we plan for the future, it is vital that we hear the voice of business. The Chamber and the Energy Institute provide invaluable leadership in addressing the challenges and opportunities of the energy economy.